The hypoxia chamber is used in tissue culture to mimic physiological hypoxic or low oxygen conditions for cells. With some cell types, such as mouse mesenchymal stem cells, it increases cell proliferation and contributes to the maintenance of these cells in an undifferentiated state. For example, a hypoxic environment may contain 5% oxygen compared to 20% oxygen. The hypoxia chamber provides an airtight seal for your cultures. The seal is created due to the uniform compression of the O-ring by the surrounding steel ring clamp. This video will demonstrate in detail how to open, stack, reassemble and purge the chamber. The hypoxia chamber has a polycarbonate lid, a polycarbonate base, a polycarbonate tray, a stainless steel ring clamp, an o-ring, and tubing with clamps. With your left hand, grasp the chamber and ring clamp firmly at the opposite of the clamp handle. Place your right hand firmly over the clamp handle and open slowly. Remove the clamp by extending it to its full diameter. Using both hands, remove the lid and trays. To prevent excessive evaporation of cultures, the chamber must be humidified. Place one or two 10 millimeter petri dishes containing 10 to 20 milliliters of sterile water in the chamber. Check all O-ring surfaces, making sure they are free of any particles which could cause leaks. Properly seat and position the trays on the base. Set up your cultures in the chamber. Place the lid on the base. Grasp the clamp with your left hand and center the clamp at the position where the base and lid join together. The left hand should be held firmly against the clamp and the chamber. Slowly close the clamp handle with your right hand, making sure the clamp is centered. To purge the chamber, you will need a mixed gas tank with a regulator valve, a filter, two sets of tubing, and two adapters to connect the flow meter to the gas tank in the chamber. To begin, open both ports for the inlet and outlet tubing. Open the tank valve control all the way, counterclockwise. Slowly open the regulator valve control clockwise to approximately 8 to 10 psi. Attach the bottom connection of the flow meter to the inlet port tubing of the tank. Attach the tubing coming out of the top of the flow meter to the chamber. Adjust the regulator valve control to approximately 20 psi by using the flow meter. A flow rate of 20 liters per minute completely purges the chamber in four minutes. After purging, Disconnect the chamber from the gas source and close the two tubing clamps. This seals the mixed gases in the chamber. Turn off the valve control clockwise. Allow the gas to purge from the regulator until the regulator pressure reads zero. Close the regulator by turning the regulator valve control counterclockwise. Put the chamber in an incubator at the appropriate temperature. Please consult the product information sheet for additional instructions such as How to check the seal For chambers that are filled with large quantities of culture plates, we recommend reflushing after one hour of incubating to remove any gases trapped in the plasticware. To adjust the ring clamp if the chamber fails to seal. 
Loosen the locking nut and turn the bolt clockwise to tighten and counterclockwise to loosen the clamp. After adjusting, tighten the locking nut. You can do this by taking the chamber out and placing the tubing close to your ear, opening the tubing clamp and listening for gas escaping. If you hear a puff, rather than a continuous flow, it is a good seal. For cleaning, the chamber can be sterilized with 70% ethanol. For instructions on replacing the O-ring, please refer to the PIS. This poster supports how the culture of mesenchymal stem cells in low oxygen tension mimics physiological oxygen conditions for increasing proliferation of these stem cells. Please contact Tech Support for more inquiries.